Time to put the bottom on the workbench. The most important thing is to make sure the bottom is accurately cut both in length and width and square because you'll be pulling the frame to it. So it's going to set up how accurate the bench is. First thing I'm going to do is lay out all of the uh, marks to drill pilot holes so that um, once I lay it on the frame and glue it up, I will be able to uh, continue the pilot holes right into the edge of the frame without uh, worrying about getting off on that. I'm going to make a spacer here with a couple of holes in it that I can clamp in the frame just to keep the middle spreader exactly parallel to the side. So when I push that one end spreader in flush to the edge of the plywood, it will automatically um, set the center spreader up. Of course, glue, glue, glue. Um, all of my projects, uh, glue is what holds things together and makes it last and makes it strong. So now I'll uh, pre-drill again into the edge of the end frame and we'll use, uh, in this case, a stainless steel Torx number seven inch and five eight screws. And I'm gonna jump around and install screws necessary to get the thing square and flushed up. And then I'll jump back in and fill in all of the uh, screws in the field. Uh, more time just putting in screws uh, for the bottom than just about anything else. took so long to get the uh, bottom screwed on that the glue started to tack up so it took a bit of scraping and wiping with a damp rag to get all the glue off and get it cleaned up. I made a template to do the slots for the sawhorses on the bottom. So I tested it out on a sawhorse and made sure they were in the right location and then I was able to just clamp it on the bottom and make my cuts. I cheated a bit here. I got tired and didn't want to make a template, so I just took a six inch hole saw and drilled it right in the middle of the eight by eight uh, square I had laid out. If it doesn't work out, I'll just cut out the square later on. Round over all the edges, smooth everything out. <laughs> 